Alright, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5, Mothra and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack. There's a violent power struggle going on within the contract forces of Africa, the PF that ran security for the Mathinda oil field. Most of their key people are Afrikaners, but naturally for a South African organization, some of its founders are British. Details are sketchy, but apparently the Afrikaners are holding these British personnel for interrogation near Kaziba camp. We've been asked to rescue one of them. A man known as the Viscount. We don't have the Viscount's exact location, but he doesn't speak the Afrikaner's language, Afrikaans. They'll need an interpreter who speaks English in order to interrogate him. Meaning if we tail the interpreter, he'll lead us right to the target. By the way, the contract specifies that it's all right to ignore the other British prisoners. But the final decision is yours, boss. I kind of hate this mission. mission I forget accepted. what it is. Probably for the best. This feels like an Assassin's Creed level. Well, I mean, we know uh, Kojima is a fan of Assassin's Creed. Several high level or Assassin's Creed is a fan of Kojima. By their or colleagues. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. I do not remember this level at all. Really? Oh, so they kind of, like the actors in this level, they pronounce Viscount differently, like every time they say it. The word Viscount is supposed to be pronounced Viscount, as I've been saying it, but sometimes they'll slip up and pronounce it Viscount. Which is weird, because I feel like the Metal Gear series is always really good with its pronunciation of like words like this. But this is a really... I hate this mission. It goes on way too long. Is that the Viscount? That's the yes, that's the Viscount. The are only the Viscount gets rescued. Can't understand why he receives special treatment. But I don't imagine... Actually, no, it's not the, the Viscount. It's just another uh, interpreter. The big thing that you get in this level is an African um, translator man. He speaks the Africans. Oh, yeah, I remember this level. It takes way too fucking long. Yeah, essentially what you have to do is there's like one dude in this area um, that you have to follow. The one guy that I've marked is a task. So there's two groups of two people here. The people going to the right are a task. The people going straight are the people you need to actually grab. Mm -hmm. At this point in the game, I can't interrogate anyone unless there's like just some random Russian people around here because uh, Snake does not speak to Afrikaans. I don't know why the prisoners do that. How do they know that the guy is like been taken out? Because they just drop right to the ground. Maybe it's a coincidence, or maybe they hear big blocks. But had the other guy not hear him, but he did. Mm. Are they just that good? But yeah, this play is like one of those Assassin's Creed levels where you have to tail, you know, tail people from like a rooftop or whatever. Seems the prisoners aren't held together, and the cells and interrogation rooms are separate places. Only unfortunately, Snake is a little bit vertically challenged and cannot follow them via rooftops. He's got to stay a little bit behind them. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten caught by this guy, have you? No. There was... When they get to, like, the shed by the lake, or swamp, whatever it is, uh -huh. I got caught once there, but, yeah, this mission's just annoying because it takes way too long. Um, I think this one takes me about 30 minutes. And I still get an S rank, I think, but... It's, it's one of those that, yeah, it just goes on way too long. It overstays its welcome. I don't mind these kinds of tailing missions. I think it would be cool if there were more of them in the game. 
Because that's a natural extension of stealth, is trying to follow someone to where they're going. And, um... Yeah, it just takes way too long. And of course, you can just run to where you're supposed to go, but you have to wait till night until, like, the person you're actually trying to get, the Viscount, actually spawns into the game. But until then, you can try and grab this guy, but after a while they'll realize that he's not, you know, that he's not active on the map, and they'll try and make steps to compensate for that, and I think they'll kill the Viscount. So it's just not a very fun mission overall. I think one of the tasks is listen to all the conversations that this dude has, but I don't do that because that's boring. Other than this one because I need to grab that guy because he's part of a task. But wait, are you following the interpreter or the prisoner? Or is there another prisoner? There's there's another prisoner right there. I'm following the interpreter. Oh, alright. The guy that has the gold glowing thing above him. Mm -hmm. That's the guy I'm following. Mm -hmm. The dudes with the berets. Is it a green beret? That's a raspberry beret. I eat raspberry berets for breakfast. This is something I almost never do, is check the, like, info. Yeah, look at the pictures of people. It is helpful, but I always forget that it's there. Yeah! I said it was I love when DD just acts like it's just a normal dog. Like sometimes you forget even these like really highly trained dogs, they're just still dogs. Mm -hmm. Like he was just kind of chilling out there. And oh. now he's ready to kill. A real big missed opportunity with DD is to carry around treats with you and like throw them. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been really great if you can like give him DD snacks. Like Scooby snacks, maybe solve mysteries with your cute little dog pal. Yeah. Uh, what was that noise? Who cares? So, our rescue target was behind some kind of plot. He's probably working for Cypher, boss. Take him back to base as long as he's not a woman. He's looking at his yeah, that was an accident. Yeah, or sure. was it? Sure. Miller doesn't mind. The fact that they've gotten in a vehicle really doesn't matter all that much. Mm. I don't really, I really don't know what their plan was, and was getting caught part of it, because they went from one end to the other, and now they're going back the way they came, right back to the beginning of where we first saw them, and then they're gonna go like left. So I don't, I don't know why they went back that way, or why didn't they just take a car in the first place? You need the cardio. Also, these guys are the worst soldiers 2013 because they they saw the guy that I knocked out, they get back in their car, and then they just leave. <laughs> Not our problem. Pretty much. Can you think of any other tailing missions? Not really, no. Uh, wait, no, there's the one in... Another one in Africa where, like, you have to shoot at the guy before he gets in the helicopter. I don't remember that one. Oh, is that the one at the airport? All I remember is that there's another one where you have to tail the guy and then, oh, wait for him to meet the contact. All right, now kill the... knock out the contact. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that happens at the airport. Yeah. I like the airport one though. All the, the fights at the airport are usually pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's another area I really like a lot, is this like swamp area. Of course now I see my target, which is the anti-air radar. Mm -hmm. And immediately two guys just see me somehow. Mm -hmm. Well, there's broad daylight. Yeah, but I'm snake. I'm wearing all black. They shouldn't be able to see me. I blend right in. 
with all this green grass, I blend completely in. And I got a little doggy following me, a bright white gray doggy. This doggo is like extra camo. It's just two dogs walking in the field. Yeah, two puppers over there. Hey boss, there's two dogs over there. That's timer dogs. <laughs> Who said that? Not me. I'm a <laughs> Quack. <laughs> I wish I could blow something up. Oh, that doesn't stand for what I thought it, it stood for. It starts for, uh... Cock... Fart... Ass. I just replaced one word, it's alright. Cock Fuck Association. Yeah. The MPLA, I think they, that stands for the Murder People Lovers Association. Yeah, that sounds about right to me. DD like really wants me to sniff his butt. I think. I think he's trying to assert dominance over Snake. <laughs> so here's another one of the people that's part of a task. Just gotta grab her. If Miller doesn't object. Well, I don't think she's got superpowers, so. Yeah. Well, she could be working for Cipher. Uh, I don't know. Is she gonna try and kill the boss? What's the difference between Quiet and all the other, like, soldiers that you fought back to base? Well, first off, she's a woman. Okay, yeah, we know Miller doesn't like those. Yeah. What else? What's the difference? Uh, well, she works for Cypher. Alright, these guys don't? No. How do you know? How do you know Quiet works for Cypher? Well, because she tried to kill Big Boss. And if this guy had a chance, he wouldn't try and kill Big Boss? Yeah, but he works for, like, you know... Not Cypher. How do you know? Because he's all like dressed up as like a soldier. So it's quiet. No, she's not. She's dressed up like a hooker. It's just how soldiers would want it. But you're gonna be ashamed of your actions and, and words. No, I won't. Yeah, you will. No one that was ashamed of their actions or words. I was. I wasn't. Especially no. when I masturbate to her daily. I remember the first time I did this level, I did it at night, and it was like way worse than than it was in this. Like this area, the first time, I feel like is a nightmare to sneak through. Mm -hmm. Like I said, for some reason, it was worse during the night than it was during the day. Yes, the difficulty is obviously night and day. But it's one of those where, for some reason, once you do it the first time, you just kind of get the the hang of the layout and everything mm -hmm. like that. So it's not that bad on multiple uh, playthroughs. Mm -hmm. So, that is just like info. This is a task. <laughs> that right there. Uh oh. It's alright, I'm really lucky. Jesus Christ. The map has been updated. I'm just like really good at this game. Mm -hmm. the diamonds. My diamond senses are tingling. Hey everyone, Spider Man here. Yeah, so the next 20 minutes were spent cleansing the map of enemies and waiting for night to fall so the target could spawn in. It's a lot of fun. Really good stuff. Mm -hmm. I saved you 20 minutes of um, literally just clearing the entire area out and waiting for the target to spawn in because he does not spawn until night, which is dumb. Analysis complete. Yeah, why well, you could have used the Phantom Cigar. Cigars. Yeah, but still, you still have to wait for night. Yeah, I don't know just... why you can't just grab him at any point. Also, I don't know how those guys hurt me. Jump through the window. I wish he had Spider-Man powers. <laughs> Venom Snake. Venom Spider Snake. No, just Venom. Just call him Venom. That's it. That's all you need to do. All you needed to do for, to make that joke work was just call him Venom. That's the rescue target known as the Viscount. Don't let that fool you. Oh, Mr. Miller, it's pronounced Viscount. He started out in the British Army's Scots Guards. 
I don't even know what a Viscount is. Do you know what a Viscount is? Not off the top of my head. I know it's a, like, political thing. I don't even know if it's a political thing. I think it's just like a monarchy thing. Kind of like a prince or something like that. Maybe. Does any of you know how to pronounce Viscount? <laughs> I have a bet going with my man. It's called Gaff. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, like GIF, GIF. Uh, no, Big Boss strikes me. Actually, yeah, no, Big Boss does strike me as a guy who would pronounce it GIF, because he's wrong. Snake seems like a GIF guy, though. Like, solid Snake. Uh, maybe. Because he's always on the right, so, you know. That's debatable. Tell me one time Solid Snake was wrong. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. At one point. Uh, when he fought Ocelot. Why was he in the wrong? Because Ocelot only wanted to destroy the Patriots. Yeah, but he... The Snake, Patriots are Snake was part of Ocelot's plan. Exactly. So he was wrong because if he had just went along with Ocelot... No, that, he easier. did go along with Ocelot. Ocelot wanted him to attack him. Did he though? Yes. <laughs> it's, I, I think his life would have no, been No, I understand. Easier. I understand it's very complicated. I still don't Ocelot's understand. Ocelot's plot it. doesn't make a lot of sense no, at all. No, it does not. But his he did want Snake to attack him the way he did. Everything that's, that Snake did, Ocelot wanted to happen. And like I said, I know it's, it's very difficult to understand that because... This plot doesn't make much, much sense really at all. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that balloon guy didn't fool you. That that, that balloon man, balloony. No, you didn't get fooled by him. Speaking of getting fooled by balloons, have you seen those Ford commercials? No. No, you haven't seen them. The David Hater and Paul Eating are in. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I don't understand that. No, I don't either. Who? Who did that? Like, did Konami approach Ford? Did Ford pro uh, approach Konami? Yes. I don't know. Either way, it's weird. It is weird, either way. Like, and the fact that, like, David Hayter did that? Whole eating, I get, but, like, David Hayter, I feel like there's so much blood in that water at this point. Mm -hmm. Where it's just, it's weird that he did that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't for know. For Ford cars? Like, what is happening? Yeah, for Ford. Also, he says some things that are, like, it's clearly Solid Snake, but he says, like, big boss lines. So Ford clearly did not do their homework. Mm -hmm. Or Konami didn't. I don't even know if Konami knows the difference between big boss and Solid Snake. No one does. I've always seen that, like... There are a lot of articles that are like, See the story of Solid Snake, and it'll be a picture of big boss. Like, people really need to get their stuff together. Yes. Yeah, those Ford commercials are they are mind boggling to me. Did Ford like just contact David Hayter and Paul Eating and didn't even ask Konami for like the rights to use those characters? Could they just do it because it's kind of a parody? And the Ford the, they are so confusing to me. I don't know. Tweet Hater, he likes you. This is Beacon. Arriving shortly at LP. He would tweet your stuff, right? I tweeted him once about X-Men Days of Future Past saying the only thing that was missing was David Hayter writing it and he liked it, but that's the only contact I've ever had with him. But other than that, we're best friends. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's actually a secret that um, took a lot of people a really long time to figure out in this game. Well, that DD is actually voiced by David Hayter. <laughs> yeah. Because there was uh, when before Act Three got cut out of the game completely, uh, DD was actually supposed to be Solid Snake. Really? Like, yeah, he would shed his skin and become a man. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Interesting. That is totally not made up. I right. got that from my dad, Hideo Kojima. Maybe next time I'll break a sweat. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so that took me 50 minutes, that mission, and That's I got an A. Long. That's way too long. That is too long for one mission. I, I don't know why the Viscount was in quotes. Because no. he's not really a Viscount. I mean, I've never had sex with a woman. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Boss, 
One of the other British prisoners filled us in about the Viscount. It turns out he's a real two-faced son of a bitch. He was planning to secure Balls, the MPL two faces is when you have one face and then another one. He seems trustworthy as long as he's not Cypher or a woman. So Ocelot's a crazy dictionary, man. Yes. <laughs> and Miller's gay. <laughs> what, have we, what have we done? I'll throw him in the brig for now, but we may have to be extra persuasive with this one. By the way, boss, we got some interesting news out of our friend the Viscount. He mentioned that more than a few PFs in the region have purchased Walker gears. The CFA is the same. That's Soviet Army technology, and it's still a prototype. Only Cypher could be leaking it to the PFs. But the question is, why? 